everybody, Eichelberger6 here from the Redstone Motorboat, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Video Pad Video Editor. So, first thing we're going to do is show you how to add files. It's right there, it says Add File. So, you go to your videos that you want to add. Uh, we'll just, I don't know, let's see. We'll put in one of my parkour videos. We'll just put in that one. Yeah. So, first thing you got to do you probably cut it to what you need it so you find it. Hey, you and you want to go back a little bit and click that, and we'll cut it to there. Hey, everyone! So there. <laughs> um, until next time, guys. Like and subscribe. So the next thing you want to do is find the end of this video, and then if you do this, you can instead of just having to click and click and click, that's just bothersome. You can use this, and it goes back just tiny bits at a time. Right about there will be good. So what you do from there on, you would drag this video into here. And we want to move this up a little bit so you have a little more room and we'll mess with this. So now, next thing you'll want to do is, it, it's on here, so now this is it. So if you wanted to say add subtitles, you click subtitles. And hey, you would just write in what you want to say, I would be, hey everyone see that's way too big so what you can do is this and then you wanna probably um... oh that's her Take it and click enter, and now you can make it about this big. Just make it here. You can change the color and add a background like this. That makes it so it's less distracting to other things. Once you got that, what you want to do is something like this. Hey everyone, I got Burger Six here for the Redstone Motor Boat. And right here is when it ends, so I cut it there. That's how that works. So we don't need this or discard it. Next thing we gotta do is show you how to um, do the text overlay. So what you do here is you write in whatever you want, blah 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 blah, and it's in a big random font right now. Now you can change the size of it, of course, here, and oh, that gets in the way. So here you choose the up and down keys, which you'll see right in the bottom right hand corner, which you'll see my little keys moving around so you can use that to mess around with the font you want find it and if you want to like say this one you can add an outline and uh, you can italicize it make it bold underline it so that that's very easy so now see uh, how this is all checkered in the background like this that is showing that it's blank now if you added a file and that happens to be so we'll go to my um, right here. Now I'm going to make it so I can actually see it. And um, so, say the sheep. The sheep has absolutely, it has no background. They took away the background. So when I put this on, it's just sitting there. Just big old giant sheep. But it has no background. Like if you add something else, like a... Uh, Oh, never mind, that's another one without a background. Is this one without a background? So, like this. This one has white, so when you go here, you're going to see the white. And that's not always what you want, but if you want it like that, then good for you. Now, uh, next thing I want to show you is this. When you add a file, say, music, a music file, like a wave, what you do is you bring it in there, open it up, once you have it, you drag it up here. This is my um, theme song. So, you add your your text. No, whoopsie, undo that. Do that, there we go. Now we go here, we drag in our, uh, we'll just grab, a, add a blank. So this, you can make it a gradient color, so you can take it and 
blend two colors like this. You can even blend um, f four colors. You can blend as many colors as you want. Three colors. Make it crazy. Do something uh, out of the ordinary. You click OK. Something, something mad. Just mess around with it. Do what you want. You could look crazy as crazy as that. Just drag this down if you want more or less of that Rah! color. Yeah, I live in a house with a big, obnoxious <laughs> family. So now you would want to drag the blank here. See how it's too small? What you do is you drag it, and it will see those lines. Those lines are telling you that it's stopping exactly at that point. So when you use, if you were to zoom really, really close, you would see that there is absolutely no space here. So we want to undo this now. You had to get it closer, and you can add effects like this. You can do this so hey everyone and a heart shape and you for all I care you could add a sheep and even up here see those lines those are very important so you could have a sheep and it'll do something crazy like that I'll make it the same fade and if you want it um, to fade at the same time then you want to add another blank text just put it right here. Sometimes when you add text, it's going to do that. So here, so now they go at the same time. Now, if I wanted to say, I don't know, what, the sheep. And I can move this around. I can make it right here. And another thing you want to do, right-click it. You can go to effects. All these crazy effects here. But this time, I want to do rotate. I want to make it do this. Apply that. Now, I'm going to change the font color. Uh, click X, and I'll make it, I don't know, pink. Then I'm going to delete this part in here, and then put that up here. What the sheep? Oh yeah. <laughs> so now I want to add the same effect here. Hey everyone, I have And that's how that works. So you can it all comes together. But if you do it without these, I'll show you. It, it sort of doesn't look quite right. It'll look something like this. Hey, you see, it sort of went too early. That's why it's always good to add a blank, um, blank text. Uh, undo that. But you can accidentally put it here. So you want to move it so that it goes on there, right there, perfectly. It's always good to move this out of the way. Oopsie, wrong one. So now this is how we want it, right here. So next thing we have to do is, uh, I'm going to show you all the effects, how they work. Mainly they work best with video files, so you double click them. If they're a picture or something like that. You have to just right click them and then you'll go to effects. First thing you can do, of course, is crop it to whatever size you want. So, crop it perfectly how you want it. So, say I wanted to do this right here. So, after you do that, let's say we want to position it. Just drag it around where you want it. I could drag it up here. And also, I could, um, if I wanted to, this would be interesting. I could do this. I could make it add motion, and I can bring it over here and move it. And, uh, whoopsie. Ah, undo. I'm going to drag this to where I want it first. So I'm going to bring it down here. It's going to be doing this. So now when you add your keyframe here, I forgot to do that. So here I'm going to add my first keyframe is going to be different. You add your keyframes. So I'm going to, for my first keyframe, I'm going to fix this. Got to find my thing. Where did it go?
Oh no. It's gone. So it's just, what we can do is we can delete all these keyframes in case we do something crazy like that. So now... It messed something up. So we can X this entire thing out. It's fine now. So the first thing we want to do is when you add a key, when you add keyframes and stuff, um, you have to click this plus and you'll add the original keyframe. Then you can move it over here now and you go. Oh wait, no, undo that. You want to go move your guy thing up here, add your keyframes, move. So when you add your keyframes, now if you move this, you see they're moving over there. You can move this shrink it so now when we play it hey everyone I got burger six oh hey everyone I got burger six here Let's it's slowly gonna move because Let's we didn't um make it go very fast so gotta get back where we were but as you can see it slowly moves Ooh. now if you move this over uh, undo that. Move this. <laughs> so now, when you play it, it'll actually look like it's moving. <laughs> it's best to do it with something smaller, so it's also good to zoom in. So, we can just erase all these Cree frames. Let's try this again. Now, let's say we, of course, add our original keyframe beginning. Next thing we want to do is play it a little bit. Hey, everyone! I got Burger 6 here for the re Pause it. We're going to need to zoom it in. Just say we wanted to do with that, so you add your keyframes, and then you move it. You could do this. So now, hey, you look at what it did there. And then you, when you're done, you want to add more keyframes. You can make it move up now. So now, when you go back here, hey, everyone, it moves up really quickly. We're gonna move it over here and make it go like this we'll just keep it here and then now when we play it from here you'll have this hey everyone I got burger 6 which is pretty crazy <laughs> so the next thing we want to do is add a, we could add a motion blur so now we're gonna add our keyframe hey everyone uh, Let's let's see what does this do. Hey everyone, I got Burger Six here. I've never messed with the mo motion blur before. Uh, let's see what does this do. Hey everyone, I got Burger Six Six here for the. I don't, I don't understand the motion blur. I guess it. I don't know how it works. But so now you can do something crazy like mirror. Look, look at that. Hey everyone, I got Burger Six here for the Redstone Motorboat <laughs> today. That's that's pretty funny. So now we can you can, we may want to get rid of the mirror or something. I don't know. Now we want to go to scale. If you hold control. Oh, whoopsie, wrong button. If you hold control, you can sh um, shrink them and scale them like that. And if you don't hold control, you're going to stretch them and make them all funky. So, we don't want to do that. So we're going to go back to the beginning. Now what we want to do is, we're just going to mess around with this. Green screen is not available in the um, Writers of Version. You can make it transparent. So you can make it pr fairly see-through. Then you can add color and 
other things to make it more yellowy and other stuff. So we want to undo that. So we're, if we apply this, now when we add this, add this here, so we have this. Hey everyone, I have Burger Six here from the Redstone Motorboat. Hey everyone, we I are have doing Burger the Six main here from the Redstone Motorboat. Something crazy like that, but you could you could barely see. If you look closely, you can see my um my um thing come through. So yeah, it goes really quickly, so you can't really notice it. So it's 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 for cool things like that. So that's basically all there is to it. And now all you gotta do is learn how to export it. All audio effects you have to um, have the full version. You can preview it, but I will tell you, this is going the preview thing is going to cut it, so it's not really gonna look like that. So don't worry, it won't look like that when you're finished. See, this looks a lot different than this. It's a lot more it's a lot wider and taller it, it's a lot different when you want to export it you can choose the kind of file you want I would stick to AVI right here you cannot personally you can't just go you can't do a wave file because they are um, no I don't wanna do that but because they're um, I think uh, full version so we just go with AVI and you click create but I already have this file because it's named Untitled. You usually give it a name. So that's all you need for that. And basically, that, that's basically it. And if you click something like an image, you don't have to right click it and go down to the effects. You can make it faster though. So if I wanted to get rid of this, let's make it fast, make it funny. So let's, we can. Uh, let's let's um, take it. We can change sk clip speed to like let's just go 500. Now when we play it, <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my, that's hilarious. <laughs> so you can make it really fast like that so that that's basically all there is to it guys so until next time see y'all later and i'll make more tutorials but i, I more like the minecraft videos <laughs> so until next time guys see y'all later leave a big old thumbs up and if you don't like this uh, video don't subscribe or just just walk away break the arm and walk away break the arm and walk away <laughs> i'm kidding don't break anyone's up see y'all later guys